Dubs, welcome. Mole Gamer here. And what the heck? All right, we're gonna be playing some Soul Edge tonight, uh, aka Soul Blade, aka the prequel to Soul Caliber. Um, yeah. So what the heck is going on? Okay, I keep hitting X, and somehow it keeps coming back to here. So gets me wondering if the game's like not programmed to screw with you a little bit moving around here so bear with me mole gamer mole like subscribe comment share gameplay channel review channel links below Cervantes harang move the mic I know not the best thing to do here rock I've already done Cervantes Taki pre implant um Sophitia, the only, the first Soul Calibur character to actually appear, uh, um, we'll say in risque attire, if you know the Japanese opening. Uh, Mitsurugi, a very generic samurai, mostly looking like Haomaru. So let's see. Any suggestions so far, people? That's perfectly fine. All right, so I'm thinking. Look, look at this. Look at this. This guy does not look ba. He looks like a a, <laughs> a reject from One Piece. <laughs> I am the Dark Pirate Cervantes. Oh, the beauties of old games. Uh, Li Long. They actually made it a three-section staff in in UK because. Numchucks are illegal. Go figure. We'll do the medieval monk. Oh no, I did not want bald. Oh. I guess I gotta play as Baldy. Oh. oh man, I I, to I totally, I totally have not played this game in forever. So I gotta pick up on the move sets. Oh man, you win! Fight! I'll knock you in that pixelated water! <laughs> Welcome everyone to Throwback Thursday! Game so old you can't make this up. Look at this. Look at how sparse the grass is. Modern days, I mean, our games would have a whole lot more grass than that. Okay, we're in this, like, no man's land on top of who knows what, and he just pushes them out, and he just falls a few, you know, falls like a story, and then it's like, okay, okay is the computer going to fight back, or is this still training mode here? I don't remember jumping. Why'd you jump? Li Long? Come on, we got we got the nunchucks, the blades at the end. Come on, kick him, kick him, kick him. Oh, how rang. Why do we have to unlock you in later games? You are such a pushover. The grueling battle ended. You win. Battle two. Fight. And up and down with the suplex. See, funny thing is, this game doesn't follow all the air juggles and everything else. On, on one of our Throwback Thursdays, I'm going to have to show you guys Battle Arena Toshinden. A game so horrible that it just... It's virtually unplayable, even by today's standards. And it's like, wow. How, how did we get... How did we get from there to here? 
Cutter. Get up, get up, get up. The grueling, you win. the grueling battle has ended with the victory by Li Long. Long wins. Yay! I won! Or something to that effect in Japanese should be said. I should probably use two hands here. Somebody's fighting back. All right. And look at that. Look at those awesome shadows, guys. Ooh, what happened? The sunlight just suddenly went down. What was that? The ruling battle ends with the victory of Li Long. You win. Final battle. Fight. See, I've already beaten the game once as Siegfried, and I used that in a previous review. Oh, cheap little. The ruling battle. You lose. Will you challenge? Battle one. Fight. She's fighting back. She's fighting back. The computer's actually trying to beat me. And then I pulled cheap crap like that, right? With the victory of Li Long, you win. I won. Battle two. Fight. Can I do a soul charge? Soul charge. Soul charge. Soul charge. Okay, no soul charge. Okay, fine. Up to Daisy, down you go. The ruling you win. The very best nineteen ninety eight had to offer. Actually, no, this game was like 96 or something. Ooh, air juggle! I actually got an air juggle. Incredibly hard to do in this one. Much easier in the later games. Come on, you Roman chick. And he's just like, yeah! China wins! Is this just like beat up on the computer day? Oh! Out of the ring. Okay, that wins. That works. With the of Lee Long, you Absolutely fabulous. Wind and clouds. You go down, you go. Hey, that was a cross slash. Shouldn't be able to sidestep a cross slash. Everyone knows that. Eight way run and blocky characters. All right, here we go, here we go. Come on, come on, get down, get down. Just because you got a sword doesn't mean you're the good guy. 
Oh! But just because you got a sword doesn't mean you can hack me up. But I will do that. And out of the ring you go! Siegfried! Oh! You can't let his glaive get going. Oh, no! No! I will not let you become Nightmare! No! Did he just, like, stop fighting me at some point? Did he just, like, seriously say, I'm done. Oh, oh, oh! Up today, he down you go. I should have thrown him. Come on, you pretty boy. Ooh, that's contentious. Okay, we are 12 minutes into the stream, and almost and almost beat the game. We have Siegfried and then Cervantes left, and then the game is over. What? Don't jump! Don't jump! No! Ah. I wanted him to sidestep, but he instead of sidestepping, he's like... Oh, come on! I was totally blocking that, dude. And down you go! And down you go again! The grueling battle ended, but you of course I win! I'm the good guy! Ish. Final battle. Fight. High risk maneuver. Plus time equals throw at... And down you go. The grueling battle you win. Of course I win. Now the game says I've only been playing for about seven minutes, but oh, I have to go through like ten characters. Oh, you guy! I thought arcade rules back in this day was like eight characters. Dude, I was so blocking that. Oh man, how is he able to just... I gotta figure out Meat Wad here. Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Those are high-risk maneuvers. And you're telling me I don't have the throw window after those high-risk maneuvers?
final battle. Fight. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, snap. He's going to win by some just, yeah, some crap like that. Come on. No, 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 don't you dare. What what is this crap where you can just sit down like that and be totally out of range? By the way, ended up with ended up with uh, all the sales and everything, got dead or alive last round. Dead or Alive last round is... Okay, why would the PC version have PlayStation 3 graphics? When the PC should be able to support the same graphics as, guess what? PS4! Why would you do that, Tecmo? Oh, snap. So I'm wondering why Tecmo would do something that stupid, that silly, but... The game's still intact. I mean, it's it's everything you did with the, the original Dead or Alive 5. It's just now they've added, like, ten more characters or so. Some Virtua Fighters, um, Rachel from Ninja Gaiden, a female Tengu... I mean, it's like, all right, guys, I get what you're doing. But the other complaint I have is, is you gotta pay 60 bucks for the outfits. I don't like any character in Dead or Alive that much that I have that I feel that I have to buy outfits for them. But what I will say though is, is you have to pay 60 bucks for an outfit pack. And the thing is, is that it's like, all right, guys, why are you doing this? Because what's going on is 60 bucks! 60 bucks! On PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4, you look at the PSN, I can buy, like, an outfit, buck, two bucks. You know, I can do that if I really want to, uh, if I really want to do something. But, PC, 60 bucks to get all the outfits. I have to buy them in huge packages. Really, Tecmo? Really? Or excuse me, Tecmo Kawaii! No! When you're down, you really take that damage. Alright, come on, come on, come on. Oh, come on! I am totally blocking that low one. This Throwback Thursday is brought to you by Namco, who actually uh, had ties to Atari, I was finding out, in some... Uh... And now I go out of the ring due to a stupid little glitch. Get up, get up. Okay, just put me out of my misery. See. Get up, attack right away. Um, down you go, down you go. No, no, no! Uh, you and your cheap throw, Cervantes. Oh, 
Oh, you're gonna let him get away with that? What kind Whoa! What kind of evil monk are you? And what is all this crap? He can just he can just duck under every attack. See, there comes that crap mug again. All right, this is this is this is where the arcades make their money. You've already gotten to the last boss, and you're like, I've got to beat him, got to beat him. <laughs> that Virtual Fighter jump was a bad idea. Okay, I have actually used nunchucks, and I know that half the things he's doing here, he should have more fluid combos. There, there are more powerful combos and moves and attacks that he should be able to do. Granted, it's been over 20 years since I've picked one up seriously, but... Does that date me? Oh, your stupid chart. We do have soul meters. How do you lose his weapon? You can knock weapons out? I thought that was only possible in Samurai Showdown. Alright, I'll just go with it. There it is, there it is, and I have to fight Inferno. No, I have to fight Soul Edge. Very good question, Harley. Really? All I'm doing is I'm refighting the Cervantes battle, except against an opponent called Soul Edge. Get up, get up, get up! Get up! You know what I should do? I should remap my buttons. I know it sounds strange, but... Oh, snap! Oh, snap! Get up! Get up! Get up, son! What the... Teleport drop? Oh snap! Your soul has been consumed by the soul edge. No, 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 don't turn around! Don't turn around! Idiot! 
You shaved too much off your head, dude. That stinking teleport move. What? The grueling battle. You Lou, will you challenge? Battle one, fight. So some of the, some of this priority hit priority is just just grueling. Come on! No! 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 You should have thrown him, you bald grandma! I'm fighting Blue Ghost Rider. I gotta take him down just to prove how bad he sucks. And not just because Nicolas Cage played him. Play the cheap one, play the cheap one. Final battle. Fight. No. Get him down, get him down, get him down. 12 seconds left. No! No! Ugh. So we are 27 minutes into the stream. And most of the time I've spent fighting either Cervantes or Soul Edge. Proving just how cheap these enemies are. So I remember as a kid though, the malls used to, all the malls used to have some type of arcade, and Soul Edge sat right near the entrance to the arcade mall. Uh, the uh, yeah, the mall and the arcade, or the ar arcade and the mall. Gosh, I know what I'm thinking, guys. I'm just a little dyslexic tonight. Uh, but still, it, it was it was it was awesome. It looked sweet and. Uh, and uh, it, game stores were all on the other side, so you couldn't play games for free for the most part. There we go, finally a lucky shot. And um, it was really cool because it was really cool because you could you could you know go to the arcades, you could play the games, and then you'd stop at a, uh, an electronics boutique, uh, maybe a Babbage, depending on you know what part what part of the decade it was. Um, even, has anyone ever heard the name Funko Land? You know, you could stop at any of those places, and you could you could actually check out the games and whatnot that were on. But the arcade games were always a crust above, and now arcades no longer exist. It's like, I don't, know, I, I did really do. I lament the loss of the arcade. I lament the loss of the arcade because the the loss of the arcade just basically means that um, we no longer have what we used to have and we used to have it really nice because you could sit there and you could like play against other people meet people and that was great that's gone 
Now if you want to meet someone, you do it online. And online is just, it's a different world because you're hearing my voice. You're hearing my voice coming through your computer, uh, your game system, phone, whatever you're watching this on, right? I'm not next to you. And there are things about, there are things that you pick up when you're actually with someone. And it, that, wow, Long's girl is pregnant? Dang. But there are things you pick up on the guy next to you, and you just, you don't get that. You really don't get that when you're online, so I, I, I miss it. I really think that, I really think that arcades uh, should make a comeback. There's something about physically being next to the person you're playing against that is so awesome. You, you can't beat it, you can't replicate it. Ultimately, I lament the loss of the arcade. Well, with that said, though, hey, Throwback Thursday, this is going to be part one. We'll be back in part two with a different character. See you in a few.